Is there a place I can put? Pardon? Is there a place I can put some of this down? Um, yeah, Mike. Um, why don't you set it right here, and I'll make sure somebody doesn't grab it. Oh. Thanks, sir. Is there a place I can put? Pardon? Is there a place I can put some of this down? Um, yeah, Mike. Um, because you're still looking, though, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's really just these two things here. Yeah, why don't you set it right here, and I'll make sure somebody doesn't grab it. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Are the paperbacks? Yeah, like a side. 
Bunch of books. books? All of these Star Trek. Grab this too, why not? Jess. It's more <gasps> beans. Are they the Hunters? Well, I don't know, I just saw that. Basically, this whole back row. Han Solo, do you want these? Yeah. Return of the Jedi? Anything, yeah. This whole back row, I would just grab. Everything? Yeah. Okay. I mean. It's a lot of old sci fi. Yeah. Yeah. I'm passing on the um, Andromeda strain. Yeah. Good call. Wait, all of this too? All of what? Or do you seriously mean all of this? Yes. Sorry. Yeah. This is the end. All this. Just so you know. <laughs> my bag's getting heavy. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. My box is getting everybody. Nice. Oh, hey, look at this. You're here. Do you want this? Are you getting these? Yeah, I'm just not sure how. It's <laughs> a good uh, deal. I got some stuff up there already, so I was just gonna take them to them, maybe. Oh, uh, I can, I can hold the over four, I think. Okay. Here, Thank you. Right here. Here. Sorry. How many of these you have? <laughs> <laughs> like a whole half a table. Oh my goodness. Um, quite a few. I'm trying to grab what's not books so you can see that first. Books were, I think, Oh my goodness. Sorry. What are you doing? How many books do you think they got? Ten. <laughs> uh, I think more kidding. than ten. Just kidding. So oh, I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 20, 30, 40, at least 30, 60, 70. I'm pulling out the non books. Uh, yeah, I pulled the. Okay. Items here, too. We're trying to get out everything yeah. that's not a book. book. Yeah, I guess I can just stack up the books. You do it by There's weight? Four. Yeah. <laughs> to estimate that that was like six right seven seven eight nine ten so there's probably you think there's at least more than 70. probably pretty 10, close to it yeah all right are you okay if i just go 70 times 50 cents sure all right so we're gonna there's soft cover book we're gonna take 70 times 50. Yeah. There's at least 72. Yes, sir. There you go. Hey guys, uh, so back at the shop. Uh, today was a, a fun day. Uh, we'd had to drive a lot 
Uh, there were only three sales uh, that we went to first, starting with that church sale, and then uh, we had two estate sales uh, down in down in the Kentucky area. So we we had to uh, we had to drive a little bit, about an hour away from here, about 45 minutes to an hour away from here. Uh, but hey, you know it was a fun day, and uh, we actually picked up picked up some pretty good things. Uh, we actually picked up a lot of things that are not here, a lot of things that are going to be used for camping trips and whatnot. But I'll show you guys what we picked up here to resell. So at that first uh, church sale, they had a ton of fantasy sci-fi paperbacks uh, that were 50 cents. Uh, so I went ahead and just said, hey, let's just grab all of these. Um, so we grabbed, so we've got two two bags full of them, probably right around, I don't know, probably right around 100 or so. Uh, I paid $35 for, for all of them. Um, again, I don't know, all I know is that sci-fi fantasy stuff tends to do pretty well. Um, likely we'll have to, we'll lot, we'll probably just lot most of these up, just do it in a big lot, just to, to do it quickly. But I might look up a couple and see if there's anything, you know, that's, that's really, uh, worth selling by itself. Little Hunters of Dune. Uh, so grab those. Uh, also grab this Olympia Deluxe typewriter for $10. This one sell, this has got really nice comps. Uh, I've seen two of this model at the $99 range, and there are some other models of, of this Olympia that, that sell for upwards of $300, which would be fantastic. But this one should be should be a $100 one. Um, we will we'll see how long it takes to uh, how long it takes to move. Uh, Jessica found these Bigfoot snowshoes by Ktel from 1977. Uh, these were a quarter, and these comp right. There's one at 55, and then one at like 39. So. Uh, not too bad there. Um, again, with the books, I, I don't always buy books. I feel like I have been buying more here recently. Um, and I, I think the reason for that is a lot of people just don't buy them. So they're they're typically typically available. Uh, so this set, um, generally my rule of thumb, if I see a set of books, if there's 10 or so of the same author, same thing, I'm going to look it up to see if it's if it's worth anything. Uh, and this one's got some really nice comps on it. This, this set goes if i remember correctly between that 140 160 ish range um so i think i have 11 there may only be 10 so we'll have to we'll double check that but i was happy with that that was ten dollars and then at the uh estate sale i think i also grabbed a few a couple baseball things at an estate sale um nothing nothing crazy uh, i got this panasonic my method cleaner. Uh, we got this Panasonic Kitchen Wizard. I paid six dollars for this, and comps are kind of all over the place on this one, but looks like they're ranging between that thirty to fifty range. So happy with that. Um, and uh, you know, books and clothes, uh, everyone's favorite favorite things to, uh, to to flip. Um, so this is a a wool sweater. Uh, brand is Hilda Ltd. It's actually it's a really nice brand. Um, comps are very 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 solid on this type of stuff. Uh, this one, unfortunately, there's there's a little there's some flaws here. So this one might be a this one might be a tough sell, unfortunately. Um, but we'll 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 throw it out there. We'll see. We'll highlight that, of course. Uh, but good condition. This is a, for what I've seen. These go for fifty to seventy bucks. Good condition. So you know we'll. We'll see what we can do with that one. Uh, it's Dale Jr. Uh, leather chase jacket. I thought this would be a lot better than it was. Uh, the comps I'm seeing on this one are around 25, 30, which is not bad, um, but I thought it would be a lot higher. And then here I've got this Clubroom camel hair jacket, which actually looks pretty sharp, if I may say so myself. Um, this was also $10. Uh, and I think the, the, this comps right around that 35 to 50 range as well. So should do relatively well with this stuff. Now, I don't sell a ton of clothes and jackets. So these things, they, they probably sit for a little bit. So, you know, we'll see. What else do I have? Uh, I haven't even looked at this guy yet. This was a dollar. All right, what do we got? So this is the little red spinning wheel. For girls, it's great. Rimco. Huh. 1961. This is pretty interesting. 
Um, I saw it, I just saw that it was a dollar, so I just picked it up and grabbed it. I didn't actually look in to see what it actually was. That's that's pretty cool. I have no idea on that, guys. I'll have to look that one up. Um, so I got a nice, uh, a nice driver here. This is a TaylorMade R11S. Um, they had 50 on it. I paid 40, which is still high. Uh, but it, it is a, in great condition, this is a $100, $110 club. Um, I'm pretty confident that I can get 80 or so out of it. That's probably what I'll, what I'll price it at. So I'm good flipping, flipping 40 to 80 for sure. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I got a couple, couple records. Um, the Beatles white album and what else I got here? Got Beach Boys, Endless Summer. I think it's actually a pretty good record. And then the White Album. Um, there's so many Beatles records out there that it's hard to... I, I don't really know the value of those anymore. But I feel like I don't have that one in my collection. So if it's not worth much, I'll just hang on to it. All right, so the last thing. I don't know if it's worth anything. But it was too funny not to pick up. Um, so Skate Attack by Ultra Wheels. So these are just, you know, inline skates. But they're the choice of Wayne Gretzky and I mean come on look at that look at that smile how could you not want to buy these right I know someone out there wants to buy these right now and I will cut you a deal um I just thought oh, they were hilarious I don't even know if they're the right ones they might not be let's see that does not look like it at all Thunderbolt yeah no these this uh well it does say skate attack on the back so, no, the wheels also say Skate Attack, but it says Trek here. I don't see anything that says Thunderbolt on it. So, bummer. But we'll still take a look. They were three bucks uh, at worst. They can be used by the kids. So, it'll work out either way. All right, guys, I think that's it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, stay curious.